Hello, today we're going to be discussing the champion build of Titan Quest. Champion class consists of warfare and nature masteries. They seem rather contradictory to you probably. I, I mean, to me they at least did anyway. But they actually can work together quite well. Warfare being your main mastery and nature being the supporting mastery. So I'll get into the skill straight away. I personally think starting with warfare is better because this is more of a core kind of mastery. It will have a lot of attacks, early game attacks that you need. So we shall begin with warfare. The important skills as usual, straight away you go for onslaught tree. That definitely has to be maxed at, at some point. And also you got weapon handling. That's another really important skill to get early on. And um, most warfare classes really should have dual wield, although you shouldn't really rush into it. Just get get yourself a nice basis of other skills, and once you feel ready, you can move on to start putting points in the dual wield. Dual wield is a kind of tree which is it's all or nothing. You don't just put a few points in it. If you're going to be going for dual wield, you need to max it completely. Otherwise, forget about it completely. Other important skills, we've got one point in battle rage. The reason I say one point is uh, because it's not really much point maxing it, because you've got other more important skills there but one point in it will give you occasional 50% increase in offensive ability which is really good and then we've got also I did have to spread uh, skills a little bit thin here because there's I've been already running out but uh, I think dodge attack is a really good skill it, it's always helped me and I won't say you have to get it but it's quite helpful I mean when it's max it's around you know 21% chance to dodge attack that's like one in five hits enemies will miss on you so that's really useful and that's not even counting any other reductions like your resistances and defensive ability and stuff so this is good and we've got battle standard that's another really important skill it's, it sort of buffs you in the, providing you stay within the area and the triumph skill as well just keep in mind that triumph initially it wasn't um working to its full capacity it's, it was fixed in the fan patch 117 i always keep saying that but i thought i'll keep saying that in every video and also it's worth getting at least one point in the war horn to stun the enemies like a panic button sort of or just if you want to quickly get um have a, like a head start against your enemies when you have combat and the uh, ancestral horn one point is good as well just uh, to summon these guys uh, to sort of distract the enemy from time to time now let's go to nature with nature here's the thing because you're going to be playing as a melee character because you've got warfare you're going to be a melee character so a lot of nature skills will kind of be won't be that useful because they kind of get more towards helping mages the important ones here you, you definitely should get hard to work because that's good for pretty much any class it, it increases your health and other buffs basically it's good it's a permanent buff and plague is another good one because it's a debuff it you will debuff the enemies and weaken them so plague is good as well now here's the thing i went for wolves as well although i really don't see them as being compulsory for this class because champion is a melee class can handle himself or herself quite perfectly well without any pets but it's just if you don't go for wolves then there isn't anything else like you only go for heart of work and plague in nature so it feels a bit of a waste so you might want to uh, go for other nature skills so wolves is a good one because it's quite a substantial tree although because being it's substantial it also takes up a lot of skill points so you have to be prepared for that as you see here all the skills apart from mole uh, you should probably max out to make your wolves quite good however if you decide not to go for wolves you'll actually have plenty of spare skill points to go for other skills you could actually go for nymph instead if you want to because she will take up slightly less skill points or you can go for go back to warfare and max out warhorn if you want or even get warwind because warwind would be a nice charging skill for you you know to just run into the crowd of enemies this is that you have to just on this aspect you have to decide whether you want to have pets or not i think both ways can work fine for this class and that's it really that's champion for you i'll go i'll mention the stats they're quite straightforward since champion you're gonna be a melee oriented so do the basic melee setup kind of so you go mostly for strength uh, about ratio two points in strength to every one point in dexterity and you don't really need intelligence because you're not dealing any elemental damage and if you yeah of course if you're running out of energy then a few points in energy always help and yeah that's that that's a champion class hope that was helpful bye then